Hi, this is Elsa P. of ElsaElsa.com. In this video, we'll look at the chart of someone who loves the thrill of the chase and would tend to want what someone else has. When it comes to people who want what someone else has, the primary markers are Aries and Scorpio in the natal chart. These are the Mars ruled signs, and there's an innate desire to conquer. As an example of someone with Mars strong in their chart, let's look at Meg Ryan. This is Meg Ryan's chart. She has a large stellium in Scorpio and an Aries moon. She also has planets in the Mars ruled first and eighth houses. So any way you turn it, Meg Ryan is going to be up for a challenge and drawn towards taboo. This became evident when America's sweetheart had a high profile affair with Russell Crowe. I was stunned when the pictures of them together surfaced because her marriage to Dennis Quaid was also high pro profile and she had a son. In whatever case, the affair was short-lived and the price Meg Ryan paid was steep. Note that Russell Crowe is an Aries with uh, Mars and Jupiter in the sign. He was just coming off his success uh, playing the gladiator, which is a role he was born to play. He was at his peak when he and Meg got together, whereas her husband had aged and his star had faded. It's worth noting that once Russell and Meg broke up, Russell immediately became involved with model and actress La Femme Nikita star Peta Wilson. Peta Wilson, who has her Sun, Venus, and Jupiter in Scorpio. So think about that. Here's the Scorpio gal, Peta Wilson. She sees Gladiator Crow with his reputation even more lit up. He's on fire after his high-profile affair with America's sweetheart, so of course she jumps in with both feet. Fast forward 10 years, and Meg Ryan winds up having an affair with singer John Mellencamp, though he was married and had been for close to 20 years at the time. He has since divorced his wife and plans to marry Meg. I wonder how this will turn out. I want to point out that not every Scorpio or Aries is a power-hungry cheater. Both signs can be very loyal, but when you're looking for markers that indicate a person who loves the thrill of the chase or who is attracted to taboo, you're primarily looking at the Mars world signs. In the next video, I'll discuss ways a person can channel their Mars energy so that they can be true to themselves without damaging their relationships. This is Elsa P.